before technology, things were more magical. Where are you all from? I'm from America. Yes. <laughs> very nice. Very oh, nice. thank you, thank you, thank you. USA number one. You're cute. Yes, you are. Do you know what dust is? No, I don't. Imagine it this way. People hanging from the ceiling and people just go in and mind in their business as if it's fine. Look at the details and culture and everything they used to create. Asian uh, 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 shower right there. I go where the people are and where the things are happening. <laughs> I knew it. I just heard it. I was just about to say something interesting. Yeah. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Lennon and I am in Cairo. This is actually a city wall here for old Cairo. I'm about to enter this district and walk down a couple of the old streets and I'm meeting a group of people here at the Khan Al Khalili Bazaar Market. Uh, actually a group from meetup.com which is a website I like to use both when I'm traveling and when I'm local to meet people with common interests. So I'll shoot a little bit in 3D today and do a lot of exploring. Come along. Okay, I just looked it up on Google and this gate is called Bab El Fatua. That's my best pronunciation, my best mimicry of what I just heard on Google. This is pretty dope, honestly. Not bad. Bab El Fatua. How's my pronunciation? If you guys speak Arabic, post it. Tell me if I need any corrections on that. I just literally tried to mimic the sounds I heard on Google. As I'm walking through the gate, I meet a couple security guards and he thought I was filming him and was like, you can't film me. Well, he didn't say that because he's not speaking English, but that's the impression I got. And I let him know that ah, I'm filming myself. <laughs> All right, let's see, I'm in. Yeah, it's kind of cool so far. I was expecting it to be a little bit older as soon as I walked in, but uh, actually these look fairly new. Here, I thought I was going to old Cairo and I'm in the future. Something's going on here. These guys look a little bit more professional than I do for sure. Nice. What's the program called? Program for channel one Egypt and Canada. All right, cool. I'm doing YouTube myself. <laughs> Definitely the people in Cairo are super nice. Um, there are some hustlers and there are some beggars. I just had a lady who was dressed honestly nicer than I'm dressed, but she had a child with her and so she's doing this and I'm like, come on lady, your clothes are nicer than mine. I'm not, I'm not giving you anything. But I guess I just see a white dude and they're like, money! So it is what it is. There's worse things in life. So, I mean, it's just a little shopping street. Honestly, not as cool as I was expecting. But the people are always interesting. That's to say the least. Hey, that's a cool guy. <laughs> you speak English? You speak English? Okay. We're hanging out. Not like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. High five. Okay. There we go. I told you the people are cool. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Muhammad Arabi. Muhammad Arabi. Arabi, yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Lenin. What's your name? Is Lenin. Lenin. Lenin, like John Lennon. Where are you all from? I'm from America. Yes. <laughs> very nice. Very, oh, very thank good. you, thank you, thank you. USA number one. Oh, oh, well, that's good. I think Egypt. I think Egypt is pretty nice USA too. USA number one. USA number one. Thank you. Thank you. Very, Appreciate very. It. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very, you so much. Very, thank, thank, thank you for your time. You. Have a good day. Cairo has more of these tight pedestrian alleyways than any place I've ever visited before. There's just a lot of um, places that are cars are not permitted. Obviously, you can't fit a car in here. And they're not like very straight. They're all super windy, so it can be a little bit disorienting in these places at times and a little bit hard to find your way as well. But I think I'm nearing my destination. Huh? No, 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 thank you. Listen to me. Hey. It's practical so far apart. No, thank you. Thank you. What do you want to buy? I don't really want to buy anything, but they've got whatever you guys need here. You know, lots of trinkets. No, thank you. Just looking. How can I take your money? Hey, at least you're honest. At least he's honest. I like you here, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. What about with Musa? Yeah. This will probably be the last time I visit this area. Just saying. Hey, that's cool. Nice stuff. Oh my god, I like this. Oh my gosh. Well, at least they're honest. All right. Met with my meetup crew here. Had a nice conversation. We were talking about 
misperceptions of Muslim people as well as misperceptions of Westerners. And now we're going to do a little bit of walking around this market here. Hey little sweetie. <laughs> You're cute. Yes, you are. Oh, a good one. Yeah. Where do you come from? I come from America. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Khalid. Nice Khalid. to meet you. I nice like. To meet you too. I like. I like America. America the best. Ah, oh, great. Good. I like your style. I like Thank your outfits. You, you look good. You like my. Hey, that's outfit. cool, dude. Yeah. Oh. What's that say? For free, as Benny. Ah. <laughs> you first time in Egypt? Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. Also, Have a good one. Shop here oh, okay. There's a shop, guys. Luckily, my new friends led me out of the shopping area and helped me discover the really cool ancient sites on Moab Street. The Kowloon complex was built by Sultan Kowloon in 1285 AD. This massive complex includes a hospital, a mosque, and the Sultan's mausoleum. A single ticket grants access to the entire complex. Tickets usually cost 100 Egyptian pounds, but my friends helped me get the Egyptian price, which came out to less than two US dollars. It's uh, only prayer now, nothing for visiting the chicken okay. steal a look. How big and beautiful this place is. And that place in the middle is actually uh, where they used to make kumbu. It's like washing up their bodies before the prayer. Oh, okay. And look to this mazana. This is where the muazzin goes, used to go and call for the prayer. Okay. Right now we apply some microphones there so when it's time for prayer you can everybody can hear oh, it. Okay. But before technology things were more magical. I don't know. Sure. Imagine that there's somebody whose his job is only to call for prayer from there. Wow. Up there. It's Must need a very loud voice. <laughs> So this is what we call Edrit Fool. Fava beans, or as Egyptians say, Fool Medemmis is one of the most popular street food in Egypt. And what you're looking at right now is what we call Edrit Fool, in which people keep the beans to remain warm and you can see them everywhere around Egypt. Now we're going to Bebzuela, where a lot of uh, criminals got executed and hanged there until they decomposed. It's pretty brutal, but interesting. So let's go. It is really popular in uh, the three uh, religions, Christianity, Jewish, uh, Judaism and Islam, that there, were, uh, there was a prophet named Yusuf, and someone uh, uh, was with him in the prison and he got a dream vision okay. about seven cows big seven cows eating uh, other uh, seven wheat cows okay and he told uh, you know uh, the king of Egypt this vision and mr. Uh, prophet Yusuf started to explain this dream uh, that Egypt is going to go through seven years of uh, hunger and uh, drought. Wow. And it happened. Wow. So my city is called Minya in Amh, which uh, it translated into, uh, I don't know how to say this, but place for uh, wheat storage. Wheat storage, okay, yeah. granary. And yeah, yeah. And it's named like that because okay. at that time, my city or my little town used to be the place where they started to store uh, wheat, uh, getting ready for the drought and for the, uh, you know, what is the... <laughs> yeah, for famine or yeah, just yeah, times yeah, exactly, of tough exactly. times. So I, I just recently knew this and I was really impressed cool. with our names like that for a reason and a historic reason. Ah. So that is really interesting. I would love to invite you if you don't mind. I can invite you one day. What do you think? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> totally. Sure. That That's better than my idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can do this. I can okay. take you to the rural areas. 
but let me ask to my mom first. Yes, okay. You know, Egypt. Cool. I have an idea. Sure. You can fast for it. I'm going to. Yeah. Yes, I will do this. <laughs> Try this. The first day of Ramadan, I'm going to fast with everyone. Yeah, yeah. And first, get ready for Sahur. You know this? So before, uh, before the dawn, we get up and we eat a good meal. Okay. Uh, specific things like yogurt, for example. Okay. Or drink a lot of water to get ready for the day because it's not gonna be fair if you're going to be fasting without getting ready. I see, yes. So you're going to eat sahur first at night and you're going to fast until uh, the, the, what, the, what do you call the sunset. Sunset, yeah. okay. Yeah. Great. And it's going to be a good experience as well because it's proven that fasting is really good. All kinds of fasting mm. are good for a human body. six foot just over six foot maybe six one so that doorway is just over five feet tall I would say let's take a look what's in here oh it's another big tub this one's really deep this one's you can't see it but it's tall enough to stand in that there we go got my light on so you can see maybe you still can't really get a sense of depth there but well there's a seat in there and it's quite a ways down cousin Robbie I gotta say this one is a cooler hot tub than the one you built Anna? Street cats. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> that was a little sketch. Wow. We're entering a whole other world in here. I didn't realize that. Can you tell me anything about this place, Mina? This is an uh, extension for Moaz Street. It's uh, called the Muataz Street. And uh, at the end of this street, we will find Wela Gate. It's very famous here uh, in Old Cairo. It is super crowded in here. Super crowded in here. Tuk Tuk's in here. This is nuts. <laughs> How do you guys fit in here? I know a lot of you watching this are probably going to be super freaked out about me in such a densely populated area uh, during times of COVID. But the truth is that the infection rates have been quite low here in Egypt. One of the reasons I decided to travel to Egypt at this time. And beyond that, I'm just not gonna live my life in fear. So I go where the people are and where the things are happening. Nice fabrics. This reminds me of something here. It's like the people from yeah. the ancient times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like maybe we took the idea from the... You're right, yes. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Hanging mannequins. Hanging mannequins, yeah. Thank God it's just mannequins. Sabine Muhammad Ali, there was a king, very, very famous king, and uh, changed Egypt for the best. Uh, uh, he made this Sabil, which means it's a place where uh, poor people go and drink water for free because water wasn't accessible for everybody. Look how it's beautiful. It's something for poor people, but also they put so much effort to make it look like that. Mm. It's not just because it's for, for poor people, so it's going to be something tacky or something like that. Look at the details and culture and everything they used to create. <laughs> Here is it, and people used to be hanged here, and it used to be crowded as, as today. So okay. people kept going in and out on their bodies, and uh, they leave them hanging until they take them both. Imagine it this way, people hanging from the ceiling, and people just go in and minding their business as if it's fine. Here is the gigantic gate of uh, the neighborhood. And we're out. Do you know what Dusty is? No, I don't. 
this lantern. The same yeah. from Ramadan here. Mm. Can you say this? Fawanis Ramadan. Fawanis Ramadan. Yeah, for sure. That's okay. You're so lucky to be here in Ramadan because you're going to see how the streets are going to be decorated. Great. It's going to be really nice. People buy those as well. It's gonna work out. So Azma was just saying that this is one of the main mosques for Islam, sort of like a headquarters. <laughs> El Azhar, yes. Yeah. El Azhar. El Azhar, yes. Okay. Exactly. This is what it's called, and look how gigantic it is. Yeah, it's very large. So <laughs> Just got back. Just about got hit by a car here. It's crazy here. <laughs> People, when they have a question about religion, they come here and the parents find a lot of uh, priests or sheikhs, they call them sheikhs, and to ask them uh, about anything in religion and in life in general. Is it halal cool. or is it haram and so on. Ah. So, it's like a, so it's like a place that every Muslim appreciates and uh, uh, if you want to ask them a question, you come here specifically and get the answer cool. from scholars. Mm. Uh, not just any uh, priests, but scholars, people who actually studied Islam for years and have certificates in it. So mm. it's really interesting and it's beautiful from the inside because it's ancient and it's all made of stones. So from inside, I, I really hope that we get the chance to get inside. Thank you. It's amazing, really. <laughs> this is Mina, everyone. He's the host of Welcome to Cairo Meetup. Yes. And so if you travel here to Cairo, check out meetup.com. Meetup and search out Welcome to Cairo. Yes, and we have also Asma, she's a co-organizer and co-host with, uh, with us in this event. Hello Asma! Uh, oh, you're, you're a co-host? Yeah. yeah I'm co oh, I didn't know you're co-host. Uh, I, I, I'm very happy to meet you today, Lennon. Uh, and I used to discover places in Cairo, uh, and uh, it's my pleasure to be with you, uh, uh, and uh, hope we can discover with each other and other places uh, it's a good opportunity to meet you, but Thank you, I thanks. appreciate it. Yeah, I've, I've appreciated hanging out with you guys. Uh, definitely a nice group of people. Thanks. So thanks for showing me around. Mm -hmm. It's my pleasure. Thank you.